The Wu Li masters move in the midst of all this, now dancing this way, now that, sometimes with a heavy beat, sometimes with a lightness and grace, ever flowing freely. Now they become the dance, now the dance becomes them. This is the message of the Wu Li masters, not to confuse the type of dance they are doing with the fact that they are dancing. From Gary Zukov's book, The Dancing Wu Li Masters. Long form is an advanced stage of forms training that is not widely practiced. There is no prearranged choreography, and so one must improvise the movements as one goes along. This is the same as musicians improvising solos during a jam session and dancers moving spontaneously to the rhythms of the music. An early reference to the style of freeform dates back to the Tang Dynasty, 618 to 905 AD, and one of the semi-mythical founders of Tai Chi, a hermit by the name of Sa Suan Ming. His training method consisted of learning 37 movements and combining them without a standard sequence. He spontaneously strung together the individual movements into a continuous whole, giving this style the name long fist because of its duration, not to be confused with the modern long fist based on the extension of the arms. Another legendary founder, Tang Dynasty Tai Chi master Li Tao Tzu, practiced a similar freeform method he called the stage before the universe was created. These styles have been lost to history, but we can recreate their basic methods by drawing on what is known about these techniques from various sources. Procedure Freeform is best practiced without spectators since the presence of others will cause a self-consciousness that will interfere with the natural expression of the form. A secluded spot outdoors is ideal where natural sensations add to the experience. 1. Begin by assuming the standing meditation posture known as holding the jug. Focus the eyes slightly on the line of the horizon or a distant object such as a hill or large tree, but also maintain awareness of objects within the peripheral field. 2. Use deep abdominal breathing and relaxation exercises to calm the mind. Mentally check your posture several times to ensure balance. This stage should last approximately 10 to 15 minutes. 3. Stop the internal flow of thoughts by focusing on the external sensations. All six senses should be receiving sensum. Feel the sun on your face and the wind through your hair. Hear the sound of rustling leaves and chirping birds. See the multitude of shapes and colors, light and shadow. Smell the trees and grass. Feel the earth beneath your feet and the pull of gravity on your body. In this way, the ego's thoughts are drowned out by the external sensations of nature. The mind becomes a mirror of its surroundings. 4. Eventually you will begin to feel a swaying or rocking motion. Allow the rocking motion to move you into whatever movement seems natural at the time. Progress from one technique to another slowly at first, but gradually gaining speed. One's attention should be divided between feeling oneself in one's body as well as having an awareness of the surrounding environment. While the mind enjoys the sensation of movement and the surrounding nature, the body moves of its own accord. 
Sensations characteristic of correct functioning include a feeling of effortlessness and strength. When moving, the feeling is similar to swimming, light, fluid, floating. This stage may last several minutes or longer and is determined by the player. Eventually, the body will slow and stop of its own accord. Then the practice will have been completed. When the state of Wu Xin is attained, the body is able to act and react on its own without the need of your attention and, in effect, your ego. The body does everything automatically. Your mind ego only goes along for the ride. No need to plan and think. You only watch. A mistake often made in martial arts is to strive for the state of no mind without having developed and trained in the basics properly. It is not enough to simply empty your mind and then expect everything to fall into place. In the beginning, like all forms of learning, you must apply your mind and attention with great effort until you have mastered the skill physically. Only after years of practice does the mind ego become the last hindrance and training is aimed at stopping its interference. Every martial artist, regardless of experience, should augment his or her regular training by taking time to go out into nature and simply go with the flow. By doing so, you will learn the meaning of no mind and dancing the Wu Xin.